Welcome home everyone. Today, I would like to answer one of the questions that you ask. And the question today is, what should we let go of in order to experience a breakthrough? Good question, but from this question, what I'm sensing is you're viewing the break breakthrough as if this is a transaction. As if, what should I pay to get a breakthrough? As if the breakthrough should be done by sacrificing something from your, your life. Whether it's money, whether it's uh, attitude, whether it's stuff that uh, God doesn't like. As if the breakthrough comes from when you are doing good works and then you receive a breakthrough. That is the opposite of what God has been telling us through the gospel. Whatever that we receive through the gospel is by grace. So I'm going to challenge you in a way that please do not feel a breakthrough from God as a transactional uh, situation where you should let go something and then you'll receive something. In the Bible, it's basically said that the biggest transaction, transaction of all has been done. That is, Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And because He has paid for our lives with His own life, every blessing that we receive has been paid for. That means every breakthrough actually has already, been, has already been done on the cross by Jesus Christ. It's been paid for. It's just waiting for the installment of that breakthrough. So what should be, what, what should we let go of? Uh, I understand it could be that you're asking of what can I improve in my life? Then let us read from Matthew 10, verse 39. It says this, Whoever finds their life will lose it. And whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. I, I like the word lose. In another version, in, in, uh, in NLT, it says, let go, just like what you, uh, you, what you ask. Let go of your life. That means it's not losing. Losing means like you have no control upon your life. When letting go of your life means you have control of letting go of your own ambition, your own vision, and taking up for my sake, it says. That means taking up the life of God. What, how I trans, translate this verse is, I'm letting go of my own ambition and own, my own vision. And I'm getting God's vision in my life. That is the vision of make disciple of all nations. That is the vision and mission that I am taking. I'm letting go of my own vision of making myself comfortable and richer or wealthier. It's not that I don't want it, but I'm letting it go so that I can please God. He has paid for my sins. He has died on the cross for me. So it's the great transaction has been done. What I'm going into is I'm letting go of my own life and my own vision so that I can receive the real life from God. So I'm taking up God's vision and mission in my life so that I receive the life that God has prepared for me. And that this life is wonderful. In John 14, verse 6, Jesus said that, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So the life that God is offering is Jesus Christ himself. 
So what we are letting go, our own life, we receive the greatest exchange. We receive Jesus' life. We receive Jesus in our life. If you want breakthrough, let go of your own life. Receive Jesus. What Jesus wants, what Jesus' words, Jesus' vision, receive it in your life. Then you shall receive what God has prepared for us. And in the end, in 2 Corinthians 4, verse 6, it says, For God who said, Let light shine out of darkness, made His light shine in our hearts, to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. Basically, if we let go of our own life, we'll receive the light, the real life that God has prepared for us. Accept His ways, accept His vision so that you know the real plan and purpose of God in your life. Within walking in His vision, you'll receive breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough. Not because you paid for it, because Jesus paid for it. Not because you trade something for that breakthrough, but because you are being obedient and you're being in a submission and obeying God and following His way, following His vision. Do, when we are following His vision, I believe, breakthroughs will come in your life. So I'm praying that let go of your own ambition in life and receive God's life, receive Jesus, receive His vision. And I know that you shall receive not just one breakthrough, but breakthroughs in your life. It is in my heart so that anyone who is listening shall receive the word of God from this Proverbs 29 verse 18 that says, where there is no revelation, people cast off restraint. But blessed is the one who heeds wisdom's instruction. I would like everyone to receive the revelation of God for his life, for his future from the Bible. So that anyone who still has reservation or question, let's ask that question through the link below so that I can answer that question. Uh, any reservation shall hopefully shall be answered through the Bible, through the Word of God, so that we can guide you, so that you can grow and receive whatever that is in store for you in the future. God bless you.